Now, very exciting. Not only is Ross here, we also have a bottle of Daft Mill, Would which you? is fantastic whiskey. Um, this is a single cask bottling done for Ralphie X Good Spirits Co. in collaboration. Um, Daft Mill, what are your thoughts on this distillery? I think Daft Mill is a fantastic distillery. Mm. As a whiskey enthusiast, of course I like Daft yeah. Mill. Um, what I like about it is it is so authentic. It mm. really is going back to the old style of distillation. Mm. You're a farmer, you have some spare yield, you make whiskey. Yeah. Uncomplicated, they're not playing around with silly casks. Mm. Cash strength, natural colour. Everything I've had from them so far has been pretty impressive. Mm. I don't know about your experience yeah, so far. And even, as you say, kind of having it natural and as it is, I've had some, you know, fairly obvious sherried yeah. Daft Mill. Yeah. Equally brilliant. Yeah. Um, and I think that just shows that the quality of the spirit, the whole ethos of the farm is mm -hmm. is great. Um, yeah. we, really I, I, say, I say to everybody, I mean, if you see Daft Mill on the shelf, get the bottle. Yeah. I mean, I... I Adore this, adore the spirit, and I've tried a few different single casts and core releases. It's just so hard to get. Yeah. I entered seven ballots in January right. for the last time I've actually yeah. released and didn't get it. Um, <laughs> Using your name, your cat's name. This your... is it, but it's <laughs> one of those things. That's how much I rate what they do. Yeah. Uh, Francis and Ian, the idea of two brothers working on yeah. a farm in Fife. It just, it almost seems too good to be true. Yeah. But the idea that they are so proud of being farmers first mm -hmm. and then making this fantastic artisanal, crafted, mm -hmm. single malt on the side. Obviously, it's got all us whiskey nerds yeah, yeah, yeah. obsessed with it. Yeah. I think, it's it's but, like the spring bank yeah. of modern day. Yeah. Do you know? It's a very obvious kind of comparison mm. that for those who are interested in, you know, buying a bottle to flip it to make a quick buck does the job yeah but for those who love traditional whiskey that tastes yeah. great you know people who love springbank there's a lot of overlap yeah. here with daft mill um for those who are new to the distillery and the brand um i suppose they're kind of the fact that they were established in was it 2005 yep. early 2000, yeah, 2005 yeah and then they waited 12 years because yeah. they didn't feel the whiskey was ready yeah, until that point and then bottled their first, first release. August 2004, I think, so they done the first okay. distillation. Yeah, yeah. So it was right at the start of the 2000s. Um, and again, the despite the popularity, mm. they've not felt the need to up production. They're going to mm. do what they want, how they want to do it. Something like 100 casks a year yeah. or something like that. Yeah. yeah, but it's amazing. Um, as I, said, I haven't had much of the sherry stuff. I'm really mm. excited to try and bourbon. I think that shows the natural character yep. of Daft Mill. Um, I love big sherry bombs, but yeah. for Daft Mill, I look for that kind of lemon rind and creaminess, yeah. and the fact you get that in a bourbon cask. Yeah, it sort of allows the spirit to shine through in yeah. a bourbon cask. I think lowland whiskey, and people talk about regions as well, is kind of disrespected a little bit. That's, uh, I, I used to work at the Glen Kinchy distillery. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I didn't yeah. love the whiskey when, yeah. it, you know, before I went there. Okay. Getting the opportunity to go to the warehouse and try stuff at cash strength, and yeah. you realise actually there's so much good liquid in the lowlands. Yeah. It's just what's being released and what you get the opportunity yeah, to yeah. try, and that's why these guys are great because they're you know they do forty six percent, but they release so many single casts at mm. cash strength, so they're giving you. You know, your squash from concentrate yeah. and allowing you to have it how you want it. Yeah. And I think that's brilliant. Yeah. Um and they could be greedier. They could put they, oh, could, they could double, yeah, triple yeah. their prices yeah. and people would still line up to get it. Yeah. Um but yeah, what a drama we should yeah, looking like forward the, to trying it. Yeah, kinda of attitude of Francis and Ian, as you say, it seems that they sort of make whiskey when they can be bothered. <laughs> I, I Which is there's, great. So, there's so much demand. So yeah. oh, we need to have a core release, we need to have a you know yeah. twelve year old five you know, we're yeah. farmers. We'll, yeah. we'll make whiskey when we want to make whiskey. They released their first fifteen year old mm. um the end of last year, start of this year. Well definitely the end of last year. Um but that's the first age statement, yeah. age statement we've yeah. done. I love this kind of vintage system they do. I mean I I'm, I drink I don't drink beer. Okay. I drink whiskey and I drink wine. Okay. And I quite like the idea that not only have you got the summer and the winter, so you've got the seasonal yeah, styles, yeah, yeah. Yeah. but also you can go back to your oh, the 2005 summer batch or so on. And yeah. I think that's great because yeah. it's different for whiskey. Yeah. And, you know, different's yeah, good. I was so disappointed when um, Bob Blair mm -hmm. scrapped their vintage yeah. thing. Oh, let's just do a 
12, 15, 18 yeah. year old. And I think that was like your thing. Yeah, nobody um, does it. You've got Gonfarclas family casks that, that yeah. date back, which are obviously really, really high end. And then you had the Bow Blair, and they were really the only two. Yeah. The idea that I could get my father a 1969 Bow Blair and I could have yeah. a 1999 Bow Blair, yeah. that was quite good. Yeah. You know? Were you I mean, born in you know, I was born in 1999. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I need a drink. Right, yeah, let's, let's try. do it. Let's do it. So, this is Daft Mills receives a single cask, um, cask number 43 of 2006 Distillates. We've got the iconic green wax capsule, which, which looks. It's going to be incredibly hard to pick off. <laughs> Impenetrable, so we'll do a uh, artistic cut. Yeah, I think I need a knife. And get a knife, yeah. and let's give us a try. <laughs> oh God! Not just no, not to annoy on set. Switchblade in the pocket. Jeez. Uh, see the little, do you, little um, you want to do it into here. You want to get it into and wiggle that out. Yeah. Maybe they don't want us to open the bottles. Clearly not. There you go. Actually, you made that look really oh, hard. Oh, oh, there you go. We need a not so great glue screw. on the top of the. <laughs> there will that. Oh, actually, we can get. Uh, that'll come straight off. Yeah, yeah. Look That's at that. Fun. Cheap, 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 shit. cheap toughers. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. And as if by magic. Wow. That was so easy. Oh, so easy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, it was 20 minutes we spent yeah. hacking away at the wax. Um, as you can see, uh, we've done it a slightly different way to how you normally open a bottle by removing the top of the cork as well. Yes. Yeah. I feel um, like I'm on Blue Peter. Yeah. Here's one we <laughs> hacked at yeah. earlier. Anyway, let's. Oh, that was okay. easy. So easy and accessible. So we'll oh, give this a try. As you say, this is the Daft Mill single cask which was released in collaboration, is that the right word? With yeah. Good Spirits Co, which is an excellent retailer mm -hmm. in uh, Glasgow and Bath Street and- Ralphie. Uh, Ralph, tell me about Ralphie, Ross. Well, I quite like Ralphie. I, okay. think, I think Ralphie is a really good thing for the whiskey industry. Mm. A lot of people that are really into whiskey can, are not so into Ralphie. <laughs> But he's brought a whole new kind of whiskey drinking audience as well. Mm. His pessimism. So, <laughs> mm. so he's a, you describe him as what, a vlogger? So yeah. he does video I think he's a tastings, real, reviews. He's a real Scottish guy who loves whiskey. Yeah. Like he used to be in Glasgow. He's somewhere in the middle of the Irish Sea now. Okay. Um, but with this amazing collection of whiskey, and mm. they do the Oswas, the Online Whiskey Awards, yep. which is fantastic. It's really, really good and gets okay. enthusiasts from all over Europe talking about new whiskeys. Sure. Um, <clears throat> just shouldn't really put a light on stuff like the Rassi Distillery and yeah, such yeah. this year. Okay. And it, I think, gets lots of views and brings a new audience to whiskey. However, whenever he gets something decent, it's amazing the effect he has on the market. Yeah. Gives it a really good score. I think it gave a Bow Blair 12 or something. It's got like right. a 90 out of 100. Yeah. And it was sold out Which of all of Which is really not a bog standard, but it's but an entry it's, level. It's an entry level, but, I think, but I think that's great. It's not mm. just somebody pulling out crazy bottles of whiskey. Yeah. They're pulling out ordinary, good yeah. single malt whiskeys, giving them authentic and honest reviews, and they're going crazy. Yeah. Um, what do you think, Ralph? I, I don't know. I feel... I... I don't know, I feel, with Ralphie, I feel like he uses 20 words when he could use three. Um, as <laughs> Sometimes if, as, the cat comes as in. If he, and... As if he's paid by the minute. Um, <laughs> but he's he's good. I think I like, yeah, I like people who have opinions about whiskey. And I think anything that generates mm. debate is, is good. Cause Absolutely. I think nowadays, you know, it's part of the reason we got you in as an independent yeah, yeah. is that you can say what you like and say what you don't like 100%. and I think nowadays it's so difficult because yeah. so many people are you know brand reps or have affiliations mm -hmm. or associations mm -hmm. with, with whoever and everybody's very cautious yeah. about what they say whereas if he hates something it'll say that it tastes cack if he loves it even if it's a 35 pound yeah, yeah. On special in Tesco, he's going yeah. to say that he loves it. So the bottle here says this is to celebrate the 10 year anniversary of Ralphie.com. Okay. So it goes to show, he's been in it for a long time. Yeah. I don't think he was in it for the money. I don't think, it, no. you know, 10 years ago, uploading whiskey reviews on YouTube probably was quite unusual. Yeah. So the fact that it's carried on here and we're getting to try a daft mill, which was yeah. how much we love. Yeah. But coming from that, that's got to be positive. Yeah. A um, good thing. 
222 bottles. Yeah, very um, limited. Um, we know that it's a single cask and 54.8%. And yeah, we've used chariot, barley, single bourbon cask. Yeah, right. bourbon cask in general, obviously, you know, doesn't overshadow the spirit, mm. gives kind of soft, sweet flavours to it. Well, again, and that kind of typical lowland style plays it plays yeah. into their hands for that. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Let's. What do you think? Let's... Yeah. I mean, colour is fairly light. Obviously, Daphnel's always had got a decent mm. age to it. Um, on the nose, is there a classic Daphnel nose, would you say? It's... Definitely. I think, okay, the, the strength is there. But I think it's perhaps a little grassier than some of the drums I've had before. Mm. I think you're always looking for um, citrus. I always look for lemon rind and stuff in Daft yeah. Mills. But this is quite creamy, quite grassy. Yeah, I've had the sherried single cast I had mm -hmm. were quite, I don't know, you could feel the spirit was quite like dirty mm -hmm. in the way that, yeah. kind of, you know, Springbank is, for example. Um, but this is, yeah, maybe a little bit cleaner. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, grassy, as you say, very, very fresh. Again, if you look at your stereotypical 30 years ago notes on a Lowland whiskey, this is what they were trying mm. to achieve. Yeah. Do you feel like Lowland whiskey's having a having a comeback? Because you've got like think, some Lindors I, I think, and King's yeah. Barnes. Who are I think it's if you've got a spare kind of stuff. 8 to 10 million pounds opening mm. up a distillery in the Lowland seems to be the done thing. Okay. Um, but in Fife, for example, Fife yep. Whiskey Festival's been going on for a long time. Mm. But now they've got Daff Mill, Eden Mill, King's Barnes, Lindors yep. Abbey. Yeah. No, it's quite exciting. Yeah. It is quite exciting. Okay, let's hope they're all quite different to each other. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, I've visited King's Barnes, Linder's Abbey, great distilleries. Um, yeah, and they've all got a good story to them. Yeah. So, particularly Lindor's as well, the history. And I think Lola Blissey was always very important for the blending industry. I mean, when, yeah. as I say, when I was at Glen Kinchy, we made 2 million litres a year, 1.8 well, at least just sold yeah. to the blenders. To Johnny Walker. Well, they say Johnny, Johnny Walker. Walker. Mostly, mm. uh, it was uh, none of, yeah, not much of it. Dimple, actually. Dimple, they used correct. Yeah. You're, you're spot on. You're spot, oh, yeah. oh, you're spot on. So they just talk I can, about... I can keep my job as a, uh, as a whiskey listen, again. Ah, listen. Great. I know my stuff. You've got my approval. Okay, let's, let's, let's give this a taste. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. It drinks very easily for 54.8%. Um, that's brilliant. Like, yeah. Kind of straw. It's quite. Mm. It's quite unusual. It's maybe, yeah, the grassiness does translate, but it's cream, there's citrus, everything you want from a high quality bourbon cask. Yeah. I suspect it will only improve with water, but mm. actually, yeah, you're right. Drinks well. And yeah, that's right. Really well. I think it's, yeah, I think lowlands are a funny one because for, you know. Early 2000s or whatever, mm -hmm. even after that. <laughs> the Lowlands was almost encapsulated by Glenkinchy 12 and a couple of Auchentoshans, yeah. which are, yeah. you know, as close to drinking tap water. And, <laughs> and, and, like, it, it's, there's nothing wrong with No, it. no, it's, 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 it's very, it's, very it's Different markets, right? Yeah. And Bladnock's had a big yeah. comeback as well. Yeah. David Pryor, Australian businessman, yeah. made all his money in the yogurt industry. Yeah, yogurt tycoon. Uh, yes, yogurt two, tycoon. Two words you don't use often. Um, and invested it in Scotch whiskey. Brilliant. Yeah. Why not? Um, I know some people that have recently bought casks of Bladnock, mm. like peated rum casks from Bladnock. Yeah. Really experimental stuff. Um, but yeah, it's just showing the Lowlands is doing stuff, you know. And yeah. um, Ilsa Bay. Yeah. What a whiskey. Yeah, William That's Grant's. That's a really good yeah. example of a bigger company investing in the Lowlands. Um, that Garvin site's been there since 1964. Yeah. And that was a massive investment in the first place. We used to have Lady Burn there. It mm. was from 60, 66 to 75 or something. It was only yeah, open for nine years. Yeah. And now they've got um, Ilsa Bay peated and unpeated Lowlands. Mm. Really genuinely quite yeah. interesting. Um, yeah, it's nice to see yeah, the Lowlands being a bit more yeah. experimental. And in, in the case of Daft Mill, producing fantastic but, spirit. I, I would say Daft Mill is, is, my, is the best Lowland, in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. So it's so personal, but I yeah. think the quality of the spirit here shines through. Yeah. Yeah, do you think, obviously they didn't release whiskey at a younger age, but do you think even at four, five, six years old, how do you think 
Strathmore would have, I, I think would have been. It's hard to predict. I think yeah. they were in a very fortunate position not to have to release. I mean, a lot of independent bottlers now open in distilleries as well. They don't yeah. feel the pressure that they have to release that first yeah. spirit. I'm glad they didn't bother with a gin. Because yeah. they, everybody else was making gin. Oh, right, anyway. so much gin. Yeah, Eden Mill. Everybody thought Eden Mill was a gin distillery and then they yeah. released a whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's a malt whiskey distillery and we hope that that's going to be really good as well. Mm. But yeah, but no, I think, yeah, waiting till, you know, their first release when it was yeah. 12 years old was, yeah, obviously, as you say, they're in a fortunate position that yeah. they didn't need the money, <laughs> to put it to put it simply, but it's, yeah. Yeah. Having had a bit of age, it's got such depth to it, a real kind of depth and complexity to its to its character. And it's yeah, it's hard hard to beat, not just compared to other lowland mm-hmm. whiskies, but any any single malt. I would should say. we add a wee it's bit just... of water to it? Then... Yeah, should we yeah. add a bit of water? Let's have a little cut and uh sort of some water. Add some yeah. water and see what you think. Right. So we've added a touch of water to this. Obviously it's being, you know, fifty four point eight percent. Has a fair bit of oomph to it. How's it evolved with few drinks? Well, a classic Ralphie saying... Okay, ready, go for it. ...is this is an integrity malt. <laughs> okay. Okay, he says, it's got integrity, it's natural it's colours, non chill filtered, natural cash right. But you're talking about the Scotch mist, and normally go right up to the camera. Okay. And that is integrity. You see the Scotch mist appearing, you know you're getting a natural product. Yeah. He's a funny bloke, isn't he, Ralphie? I love it, as I yeah. say. But it's one of those things that's... It's probably made me a bit older in the head. Like the mm. fact that I'm probably an eighty year old whiskey drinker and a twenty four year old's body. Yeah. It's probably because I've watched so much videos <laughs> like that. Okay. It's still lovely. Yeah. I didn't feel that it was I didn't feel like I was struggling with the strength. Yeah. At fifty four. I think it's opened up a lot of water. Mm. I think it's far, far more creamy, far more citrus, less herbal, less grassy, yeah. a bit sweeter, mm. um, which I really like. Yeah, as it's still, still lovely, still good. Mm-hmm. It's still got interesting characteristics to it. You think um, you preferred it in natural cash strength? I think so. Yeah, I think that's they were, great. I like them both. Yeah, um, that's what this bottle's all about. We can drink the same whiskey, drink yeah. it totally differently. That's what whiskey's all about. Absolutely. It's a, it's a community, so. Yeah. It's not a drink, it's a, it's a way of life. Cheers. Cheers. Yeah, Daft Mill, very good. Yeah. It's Always. A good summary. Always. Yeah, cheers. It's lovely. Cheers. Cheers.